The following is a presentation of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at dallasgenealogy.org. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good. I heard one good and then not much else. Today is a fantastic day. Not much, not much. Well, thank you all for coming down on this fantastic day, kind of restarting the series. Hope everybody had a good summer vacation, had a chance to come to a seminar or two. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with the small business portion we have today and then transition to our, our program. So thanks again for coming. Okay, we will transition. There we go. All right, Gloria Goodwin, our director have, of membership, has confirmed we do have quorum today. So thank you all for that. That's all on you guys. Okay, so the previous minutes from our meeting in May have been posted on the website. They're posted on the table out there. Are there any questions, corrections for the minutes? I could remember that far away. <laughs> if it was really glaring, you'd be like, you know. All right, hearing none, we will consider the minutes approved. I would like to call up Travis Times for our treasurer's report. I don't know where he got my picture in the superhero outfit. <laughs> that was a surprise to me. Nobody's supposed to know about that. Uh, good morning, it's good to see all of you again. Um, you can, I'm going to uh, read what's up there, um, maybe explain a little bit. Uh, the cash report for the Dallas Genealogical Society for the calendar month of August, which is just one-third of the summer, okay. We had total deposits of 1,500, let's see if I can read it, $1,567. We had total payments of $3,872 for a net decrease for August of $2,305, leaving an end of the month balance in the bank of $124,859. And you may say, well, why did we have a decrease that large? Well, um, the summer seminar was at the 1st of August, so all of our receipts for the seminar were in June and July. <laughs> okay, the payments for the bills <laughs> and expenses were in August. <laughs> okay, so it's not showing up here, but the, on the last report that we had at the last meeting in May, at the end of April, we had 118, uh, we had uh, $118,726. So the net increase in cash over the summer from the end of April to the end of August, we have a net increase in cash of $6,133. So it is good news. <laughs> the, the first glance, it doesn't look as positive, but when you look at the whole summer, we had a really good summer, okay? Any questions about the report? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Travis. Well, we've got one more piece of business to conduct, um, but before we do that, I just wanna take a moment to thank the 2018-19 DGS board for all the hard work, all the passion, all the energy. So, Jim, Vice President, Carolyn Treasurer, Travis, or Secretary, Travis Treasurer, Tony, who's not here, I think he's uh, driving in the country in Ireland right now somewhere. Lisa, <laughs> all right. Why don't you guys, everybody who's on the board, just stand up quick. Let's take a, a minute to recognize you guys. You were fantastic. <laughs> Susan, Travis. Outstanding. Thank you very much. It was an honor and a pleasure to serve with this board and as president. And with that, 
we are doing the 2019-20 officer installation. So if we could have the following folks come on up, Susan Younger, our president, Jim Thornhill, vice president, Gayla Bush, secretary, and Susan Rainwater, treasurer. You, you do have to take notes while you come up, Gayla, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> this is the fantastic executive board we have for the coming year. I'm thrilled to have such a strong, experienced, passionate group of people that are going to take this organization higher and further than it's ever been before. So welcome the new executive board for 1920. All right, and with that, I am air handing the gavel to Susan as the president and we'll go take a seat in the audience. Thank you, Susan. Well, good morning. First, I want to thank you for the opportunity to serve as president of DGS. It is really an honor and a privilege. And I will be working with a first class board, uh, just like Todd said, and have the support of past board members. Better yet, I'll be working with and alongside members of one of the best genealogical communities in the nation. And that includes you as members of DGS, but it also includes this wonderful staff at the library here in the genealogy section. I cannot imagine a better scenario for an incoming president than what I have. Second, I want to take just a few minutes to thank the board members who served the last two years and recognize some of their accomplishments. Um, many of them are, will follow me into the new uh, year. Uh, some have changed uh, positions. I know Susan went from webmaster to treasurer and uh, Tony from past president to webmaster. And we'll be uh, talking about the rest of the board at the October meeting. But I do want to note some of the accomplishments of this past board. First, let's talk about the University of North Texas Portal to Texas History. There's been a, uh, a, a real partnership there, and DGS has completed the digitization of the DGS Quarterlies, the Dallas Journal, and Pegasus. And these DGS publications are now available both on the DGS website and on the portal, which means they're free and accessible anytime by anyone, anywhere. Uh, we also have the DGS newsletters are in the queue. We have raised all the funds to digitize those, and they're in the queue for the portal, and uh, they're subject to the UNT schedule. A little closer, okay. Second was in 2016, we uh, organized the North Texas Genealogical Society Summit. Uh, DGS invited uh, leaders from all the North Texas genealogical societies to come together to meet and to discuss common issues and to network face to face. Uh, this was a, a real success and we had a lot of positive feedback from these leaders. DGS continues in this leadership role and will host another summit meeting in the spring of 2020. Next, the board created and funded the Lloyd DeWitt Boxtruck Scholarship in honor of Lloyd Boxtruck, who died in May 2018. The annual scholarship provides funds for an educational opportunity for a Dallas Public Library staff member. The 2019 awardee was Kim Thurman from the genealogy section and over the summer, she attended the Texas Institute for Genealogical Research. The board funded this scholarship, this award, for five years. So we have four more years left on that. A significant point in the DGS mission is to support the genealogy section of the Dallas Public Library. Recent gifts include a, a substantial addition to the book collection in support of Hispanic research, we provided funds to create a room to house the Heritage Lab, which is basically a room with digital equipment to convert, to, to hold digital conversion equipment. Jim is going to provide a little more information about this Heritage Lab. And finally, we provided a professional grade book scanner to be used in the Heritage Lab. The lab and the 
scanners cost over $50,000, so that was the value of our donation to the genealogy section. Last but not least, the board has continued providing some of the best genealogical education through our monthly general meetings and through our seminar series. The seminars have brought nationally known speakers such as Judy Russell, Michael Lacopo, David Rencher, Mark Lowe, Kurt Witcher, that's just to name a few, and there's many more to come. So again, I want to thank the board for this impressive list of accomplishments and to thank you, the members, for your support, which enabled the successful completion of these projects. So if you will, let's give a round to the board, a round of applause, and to yourselves, because it was your support that enabled the board to do all of this. So. Yes. Right. And yes, and we've had a lot of discussion about that. We are not participating this year because we did not have a project identified. And we really want to bring a specific project to the members. When we ask you for money, we want you to know what we're going to be spending it on. So we are, we're in fact, uh, in August, the board held a planning session and we have a full agenda planned for this year and next year. And that includes some of the projects we want to complete. So we'll be uh, communicating our plans through the monthly e-news, uh, through our blog, and here at the general meetings. So over the, in the next month or so, we'll be trying to let you know some of the projects. We're working with Stephanie Bennett to identify some projects that we can fund for the library. And then we will let you know what we're going to be using your money for. October is Family History Month, and there's going to be several special events in October. So DG, uh, Jim is going to talk about the DGS seminar, but hold the date of October 19th. This is the Dallas Public Library's genealogy section, and they will host a Family History Month celebration. October 19th is a Friday, and from 10 until 8.30 p.m. That 8.30 p.m means there is some extended hours for research in the genealogy section, but during the day there will be a series of eight programs that you can either watch live here at the library or it will be streamed live through the Genealogy Network of Texas. We'll also have both a genealogy and a DNA help desk staffed by DGS volunteers, and so people can come and ask questions and get help there. Be looking for more details, again, this is October 19th, so look for more details in a DGS blog post on the Dallas Public Library events calendar in the DGS October e-news, or we'll be talking more details at the October meeting. Just told the date. All right, so right now we're gonna hear from Jim Thornhill, our vice president, and he's going to give you a few more announcements. I'll just mention that the board is super agile and just want to make sure we get one small detail right. Oops. We're bringing Travis back up? Yeah. <laughs> well, such a good photo. There we go. There was a missing S instead of a Z. My apologies, Susan. Agility. Jim? Sorry. All right, so we're going to go to the next. All right. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm going to try to stay behind the podium, be a good boy. Oops, other way. This way. Okay. We had uh, our August seminar, August seminar with Judy Russell. I think everybody that attended had a great time. Um, just to give you all a quick rundown of the, the finances, uh, the, our total intake was just under $8,000. Our expenses were just under $4,000, leaving us with a profit of $4,000. So not only, I think, was it a success 
um, for genealogy, genealogy and research-wise, financially, it helped out the, the association as well. Um, we had several good comments on the survey, on the survey we took, in, and thank you all who participated on the survey. That survey is really, really important it, to me. It is because it's the way that you have of telling me, you know, what you liked, what you didn't like, and what we could do better next time. But. Everybody on the survey, we said people said they would definitely come to other seminars. 98% of the people that attended were either extremely or very satisfied. Um, had comments like, it's the best seminar I've attended yet. And Judy is an engaging and knowledgeable speaker. Bring her back. So we'll see about doing that in the future. We wanted to thank all of our volunteers. Our volunteers are so important to putting these events on. Um, we probably have 20 people that show up to help us out. And for me, it is so encouraging because I get here at about 8.30. In this last seminar, I got here at 8.30, and there were volunteers waiting here to help out. And that was just, you know, two years ago when I first took this on, it was like, where is everybody? Where's the help? And now it's like y'all are sitting here waiting on me to get here. So I, I just really, really thank our volunteers for doing that. Our next seminar coming out October 12th is Jim Baldwin. Um, I'm really excited about Jim Baldwin because Jim Baldwin's going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is context. I love putting context to our genealogical research. So she's going to be here for, for that. Um, speaking of volunteers, I would encourage any of you who are going to attend that seminar, and registration is open for that now. But go ahead and uh, consider volunteering. Um, if you do volunteer for us, we'll give you a couple of little perks. Um, you can have dinner with Jen after the seminar. Just you and Jen and 14 of your closest friends. And that's going to be at your own cost, of course, but we would love to have you join us. And then you'll be entered in a drawing for a chance to win a free seminar the next year. So I would encourage you to do that if, if you are um, so inclined. Oops. We have a couple of board vacancies. Actually, we have more than two, but the two I want to emphasize and talk about. Um, one of those is the director of education. Now, let me explain a little bit about the director of education. I think a lot of people see director of education, and they think they are responsible for finding speakers for all of our meetings. Well, that's not really true. Um, there, I know, I know of, I can name 12 speakers for next year within the next 10 minutes. Um, I know Patty knows several speakers, and she can do that. Um, we've already talked about topics, so we don't need anybody that has to come up with all these ideas for education. All we need is someone to coordinate it for us. Um, it's hard for us as board members. We all have our areas that we're concentrating on, and when we have to jump over into another area, as well as keep our own area on track, it gets a little bit difficult. So we just need somebody that is willing to, you know, put this on a schedule, communicate with the webmaster when, when who's speaking when, you know, confirm it with the speakers. Basically, a lot of um, administrative type work. The ideas we have and the topics we can help you with. So don't feel like we're going to throw you into this and make you do this all by yourself. Um, that's not the way our board works, fortunately. The other thing we need is a director of publication content. Susan has been promoted to president, or maybe demoted. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that works out. But she is changing positions to president, so her position is vacant now. Um, and so the director of publication content is this exactly what it sounds like, is the person that kind of makes sure that all of our publications, our e-newsletter, and all of that kind of gets, it makes sure it happens. So if you like to read a lot, if you um, have some editorial talents, that would be a good position for you to fill. So if, he, if anybody's interested in either one of those, um, see me or Susan or any of the other board members, um, and we can talk to you about that. Um, on September the 14th, which I believe is next Saturday, is that right, or Friday? Next Saturday. The genealogy section is donating the Heritage Lab, and you just heard Susan talking about how basically we have pretty much paid for the Heritage Lab, and they're going to give Dallas Genealogical Society a lot of credit for doing that. Um, so if you are down here, if you need to come down here to do some research or you're in the area on that Saturday, um, they, we and they would love to have you come participate in that. And it's, it looks like they have a whole afternoon of um, activities planned, so it could, it could be a, 
good thing to do on Saturday. Yes, sir. You understand that's the hard walk? I don't. It's the biggest walking of people for our cause that they do all year long, and it's next Sunday. Well, maybe they can walk on into the library. So, I think it's over would be a great idea to get somebody to bring you down through the crowd. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to be next Saturday. Yes, ma'am. Creative space is the same thing as the Heritage Lab? Yeah, yeah creative spaces is actually the, the event. And if you look on the information, they're also having something on the fourth floor uh, after the dedication. The dedication's at 2, but there'll be something on the fourth floor at 3.30, and there's something on the third floor at 5. So they're combining all those events together and, call, and calling those creative spaces. Yes, George. Do you have know anything clear for them? So the creative spaces is all three spaces are kind of um, set for like creating and uh, sharing. So the fourth floor has a fiber art studio that's going in, and the third floor has a podcast and video recording studio. Well. And all three of those are creative spaces together. So they're dedicating all three of those spaces the same day. Okay, great. I didn't know that. But it's, it looks like a fun event if you, if you have the time to come down here on that Saturday. And that's all I have, so I will turn this back over to Susan. Yes. Uh, back to the seminars. Yes, ma'am. The survey monkey. Yes, ma'am. I found it in the trash. Yes, ma'am. Oh, your, the email? Yep. There's nothing that I can do about that. That is, uh, with your web browser, you need to go in and you need to put that email address in your address book, and that way your web browser will know that it's not to be thrown away. So, yes, ma'am. The part of walk actually check in is at six thirty a.m. and the walk walk starts at eight thirty. Okay. So I'm guessing it will be over. Well, you know, and I noticed on the um, one of the sponsors of the creative spaces is a beer garden here in Dallas, so maybe you can go out and you can get your exercise that morning, come to creative spaces, and come in and have some beer in the evening. <laughs> A uh, couple of upcoming events. We always have special interest groups. It's part of our continuing education, and these are the special interest groups that are through the rest of September. Uh, there is additional information on our web page. So uh, I think anyone who's interested in that, check our web page. And uh, did I go the wrong way? No, this is uh, in. Please be here uh, next the, in October, October 5th, Saturday. Uh, we'll be hearing from Tui Snyder on spooky, sim spooky symbols in the cemetery, which is a appropriate topic for October. This has been a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. If you're already a member, thank you. Your membership dues are helping support this and other society activities. If you're not a member, please consider going to our website at dallasgenealogy.org clicking on membership and joining today.